Hey, what's up guys? So today is Friday. Ow. Today is Friday the 30th and this is the day before my fourth powerlifting competition. This is going to be Southern Regionals. Um, my weight is, it's, it's okay. Um, you know, like last time I was worried about my dot score, still am, but uh, there's no way I'm going to lose like three pounds in less than 12 hours. <laughs> uh, I, I just texted my coach that I dropped a plate on my foot and he just said I'm not allowed to do that. Um, total accident, I was cleaning up the gym because I work at a gym. I, right now I'm weighing 101.4. Um, I haven't eaten anything since a little before 6 o'clock. It's almost 7 right now. Um, technically, I only had one meal, but then I kind of woke up and then had a little snack, which was like half of a, a rice cake. The reason being is because I want to make sure I'm fairly light and not feeling bloated. Like right now, even though I only had eggs, Canadian bacon, shrimp, with some cottage cheese, like all mixed, um, I feel bloated. Um, but that's why I ate kind of somewhat early and I'm not eating anymore just so everything can be flushed out maybe. Um, I did have a lot, a lot, a lot of water so it's kind of surprising because I've only had like maybe 500 calories today. Probably not the best because you know I've heard you know eat high carbs and don't do this, don't do that, but whatever. Day before my meet, openers are going to be squat. I don't remember what it is in kilograms, but it's 225 pounds around. A uh, bench will be 137 and deadlift will be 112 kilograms, which is 200, about 250 pounds. Um, third attempts on squat, bench, and deadlift in that order will be 250 or 248. Um, 150, which I'm so nervous for bench because I benched it once and I got it up, but without a pause, and the second time I benched, which was Monday, did not get it up with a pause. And deadlift will be 270, 275, maybe 285. I'm hoping 285, but this week, the past actually three weeks almost, have been pretty terrible. I feel like I've peaked like a few months ago. Um, but yeah, my like everything was just moving slowly. My body was sore for a few days, and again, I dropped 100 pounds on my foot today. Um, and it hurts, but it's not broken or anything, it just hurts. I have to pack my lunch snack thing. I haven't done that yet. Not gonna bring a lot, I'm gonna bring some bananas, uh, Starburst, rice cakes. Waking up at 3.15, gonna uh, French braid my hair into like braids, double braid, French braid my hair. I'm actually going to also bring... So I'm gonna wear the cropped A7 shirt, my Nike Pro Spanx, what I wore basically the last meet. And instead of pants, I'm gonna wear shorts just cause it's freaking hot. Uh, I have just regular socks for squat and bench and then deadlift socks, my singlet. Gonna wear these into the place and my shoes, better check, should be in here. Check, knee sleeves here, belt for stretching. I do have my alarm set for 3.15 a.m. because I have to be at the convention center at 5.30 for check-ins and six o'clock when, eight o'clock is when the lifting starts. But, um, I have to pick up Ethan and then we're gonna go to McDonald's so we can get a McGriddle. And then I'm gonna try my first McGriddle, but actually I don't even know how we're gonna do that because unfortunately, Ethan cannot be in the same room as me for where like the athletes and coaches are. I'm really sad because other than that, it's just gonna be me and my coach sometimes with me, with me not. And it's just, just sad because like he's coming with me Waking up at like 4, because I'm going to pick him up around like 4.10, 4.15, so we can go to the place, but he's going to be just like sitting there alone, and usually that's not 
what we do. All the Cougar Classics, he he's allowed to come back with me. But this is a more professional uh, meet, so he's not allowed to. And I'm very sad. Maybe I'm going to sneak him in. Maybe. I really want to. But I don't think it's going to happen because they said if they see someone without like their special tag on, being a coach or athlete, then they will be kicked out from the venue. Which is not what we want. I'm going to try and go to bed by... I don't know. I want to be reasonable and say like 10. Um, but I want to be asleep by like 8. I'm going to take some melatonin gummies. Um, but usually that will make me go to sleep. But then I usually wake up in during the middle of the night. Depending on when I go to sleep. So if I go to sleep around like 8 or 9, I'll wake up around 1. If I go to sleep around 10 or 11, I'll wake up around like 2 or 3 o'clock. Which I have to be up at like 3.15, so... Still 101.4. Where's the sticker burst? Well, be in bed by 8. Oh, God. I'm so tired. I went to bed around latest probably nine o'clock i woke up at 10 11 did not go to bed until 12 12 30 kept waking up during the middle of the night woke up again at 2 10 and now it's 3 15. oh i think i've been wearing this shirt wrong With clothes on, I'm 101. I'm gonna feed my hamster real quick. The reason why he's in my bathroom is because I wanted to get a good night's sleep, which kind of did not work. Because instead of hearing him, I heard this dog, and I'll put a recording in, because that was why I was up until like 12, because I heard this dog crying and people said it was a coyote. This is actually my ugliest braid. It's, it works. I tested it on Bench. It's fine. Um, I say that because sometimes when I do my braids, it's too close together where I can feel it and I can't lay my head flat on the bench, but it's wide enough where I can properly lay flat on the bench without, you know, feeling a little bump. And you don't have to have your head flat on the bench anymore, but I do, and that's how I've been benching, and that's how I will continue to bench. 100.6. I gained six ounces out of walking. Right. It's been a couple days since I last recorded, but the meet went well. Um, I got first overall in my weight class. Um, there were a couple divisions of actual like 48 kg people meaning there was like ages like 16 to 17 18 to 19 and masters so apparently it's separated by divisions meaning you will get an award per your division not overall weight class so unfortunately um it was basically only me against me um, but it was kind of cool because unofficially I placed second overall in the women's category, like overall in like just women's. Um, and what's also cool is like, I think I'm getting a blister here. 
what's cool is like I sometimes forget that I'm actually I wouldn't really say strong because I feel like okay no I'm okay it's kind of cool that I'm actually pretty I'm pretty strong for my size but of course a lot of other people in my 48 kg class um specifically from collegiate nationals they were super strong <laughs> Um, I don't think I'll be making any, like, state records just because I know the people in my class who I'm against, and they can deadlift and bench way more than I can, um, but that doesn't mean that one day I won't, um, but currently, right now, it does not feel like it because my back feels so messed up. It's so sore. Even just warming up on squat, it started hurting. The Friday, the week before my meet, I had pulled my back and it was hurting. Um, took a few days off to rest and it felt better. But then when I practiced like the SPD, as I talked about, um, it's, it's just been hurting. And then today was a leg day and I did RDLs. <sighs> Probably not the smartest because I went pretty heavy and my back, always with RDLs, it started hurting and my form I wouldn't say is terrible but I guess it's bad enough to have my back hurt but anyways let's go on to my attempts uh, the meat itself was okay I'm not too proud of it um, just cuz I knew I could have pushed myself more but on my first attempt like I said the opener was 226 pounds uh, 102.5 kilograms and uh, that went up pretty well for not warming up completely because my coach, Matthew, was late. He thought the meet started at 9, which it started at 8. So I started warming up at 7.30, and I didn't have time to do 210 for my last warm-up. So I went from the bar, 155, 175, 200, and then that was it. And that's fine because uh, it went up pretty okay after the first attempt Matthew was like do you want to go up 10 or 15 pounds so I was like we can go up 10 pounds and that is 107.5 kilograms equaling about 237 pounds which I had done before that went up super well in the past for one and I've only done it one time but this one was kind of a struggle it still looked good but uh, apparently I went too deep, so it was more of a struggle to get up, and so after that, he was like, okay, we'll lower the next jump for my third attempt, which unfortunately was only 110 kilograms, which is about 242 pounds, and that went up way faster than my second attempt, leaving me with the regret that I wish I did 250 pounds, which is about... 12.5 kilograms uh just because my second attempt it did go poorly but the third attempt 242 pounds went up very well in my opinion um bench was 62.5 kilograms 137 pounds which i've done before and in my last meet at the cougar classic second attempt was 65 kilograms which is about 143 pounds which went up okay pretty bad compared to the last time i did it I had a little sticking point midway, which freaked me out. And I was like, there's no way I'm going to get 150, which I didn't. Getting every kilo you can. Yep, and usually on the, on the, I don't mean to say lighter bench press, but the lower weight bench pressers, typically the two and a half jumps are very uh, smart. You can say it because I'm one of those lower <laughs> weight bench pressers myself. And just the fact of the matter is, is two and a half kilos is a, is a higher percentage when you're benching. Pause was well, and I did at least get up more than halfway ish i kind of failed at uh that lockout and um it was a true grind not upset that i failed didn't think i had it would have been really awesome i had it but i didn't and then lastly deadlift i did 112.5 kilograms which is what my third attempt on squat should have been but that was my opener on deadlift and then we went ahead did a special jump to 270 pounds or 122.5 kilograms which made me qualify for raw nationals in memphis but unfortunately registration is full 
Uh, my last attempt, my coach was like, okay, do you want to do 275 or 280? And I was like, let's just do 285. There's nothing to lose. I already made it to Raw Nationals. Why not? And that was the original goal, 285. So I actually did 285, went up really well, better than 270, and that's 130 kilograms. And on is good for taking. So that's a little recap of my meet and just a little bit about what's going on in the, the future. Um, I am probably going to make a video about how I passed my NASM exam and how I'm a certified personal trainer. However, I don't feel that I'm all that different being NASM certified, but I'll still go over it just because. And uh, we are starting a different kind of different program just because right now Matthew hasn't programmed me anything and I'm unsure if I want to continue powerlifting especially because I've been iffy on wanting to do it or not just because I want to kind of um try out new things more bodybuilding type things like more hypertrophy training which can be implemented in powerlifting but I just want to focus on new things like a physique change and just testing things out for myself um but we're doing a push pull legs right now uh somewhat we still have two off days and instead of doing push pull legs rest push pull legs rest like that um we're doing something a little bit different but I will go into that in a different video so thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Hopefully my vlogs, my videos will get a little better, but they probably won't. I will catch you all in the next video.